Next, I want to quickly touch upon this news, which I thought was hilarious over the weekend, right? There was this post I went viral, no pun intended, of Post Malone performing at his show. And it looked like he tripped over or he kind of, you know, um, didn't remember that there was a sort of lower bit on the stage that I guess he's meant to be coming up in, I think, or something. I don't know what it is. But he basically didn't see the hole in the stage and he tripped and fell um, face first into the gap and basically hit his ribs on the kind of edge. And the immediate responses from people online or stuff or stuff like this, courtesy of No Jumper, that says, Post Malone took a fall on stage and cracked three ribs. Medics took him away, but he still managed to return to the stage and finish the show. So it was kind of like a hero kind of thing, right? Oh my God, he's so strong. Oh my God, he's so lovely to the fans. Look at him persevering. And I remember seeing it thinking, how can you crack free ribs legitimately and still perform especially the reason why i was so skeptical about it in the first place is because my um you know my recent loving with flipping the ufc i've started to watch ufc pretty regularly the last few years or so and i know from watching the ufc that when it pertains to cracked ribs um you know even sprained you know, cracked ribs for the most part you're not broken fully but just you know fractures or whatever it may be it's it's one of the most painful injuries that you can get as a fighter because you don't realize how often you use your ribs right with just kind of moving and twisting around and stuff and just generally breathing it's very very painful so the fact that you know fighters can't fight after they crack their ribs it's very unlikely that a rapper singer guy who's moving around and dancing on a stage can also get up and perform so i immediately was like oh this is cap but for whatever reason like i said when this video went viral everyone just assumed he did break his ribs and i'm gonna play the video for you now as you can see he's falling bang he falls on the stage and let's see hear the crowd make the noise as he falls down actually <laughs> it's funny with the music playing in the background and him withering in pain on the floor. But I always honestly knew it was capped straight away because, you know, you can't fall like that, crack your ribs and keep performing. And then, of course, news came out and transpired that he didn't crack his, crack his ribs, sorry. He bruised them slightly, which obviously makes sense because he did fall from a pretty decent height and he did fall kind of face first. Clearly, as well, it's, it's opportunity to kind of state that it's pretty obvious as well. This guy doesn't play sports or hasn't really played sports because one thing I know from watching a lot of sort of um, public freakout videos and compilations of people falling over, which I love to watch, don't ask me why, is that usually a kind of prerequisite of somebody who played sports or skateboarded or whatever it's usually their ability to brace when they fall down so when you're falling face first you usually kind of put your hands in in front of you you maybe twist a little bit so you can maybe roll to your side or roll to your back but if it involves you having to fall fall kind of flat on your face you do whatever necessary not to do that or just to avoid any kind of serious injury but people who don't who aren't kind of used to the rough and tumble of playing or you know whatever or just fucking around not even playing sports they don't do that they just kind of let the gravity take them where they want to take them arms out wide and just you know bang go straight to the floor which obviously leads to the you know broken jaws teeth missing nose cracks sockets flipping um fractured all that sort of stuff um but people that have played sports usually avoid those kind of things so when i saw him falling i knew immediately okay this man just drinks beer smokes cigarettes and doesn't play any sports in the slightest and you can see it from that but him moving on the, on the floor like he's a football player it's fucking hilarious and them saying that he fucking cracked his ribs is ridiculous but i think this is all part of the mystification of artists in general yeah it's probably this is a genuine this genuine event but whoever's working in the background for him was smart enough to immediately put out a story that he's cracked his ribs and he but he came back on stage and still performed for his fans because posty loves his fans that's what immediately did and i think that is essentially what you know artistry and entertainment is about nowadays is to come always 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 maintain always kind of control the narrative never let the narrative get away from you always be in front of it always be kind of putting you know putting the narrative that you want out there just so you can guide the story to where you want to a conclusion that always makes your client or the artist that you represent look amazing and this is a great quite a clear and clever way to do it by saying that he cracked his ribs and still kept on performing which is absolutely ridiculous you crack your ribs like the way they say he did and you're not performing for a very very long time you might even be in the wheelchair that's how bad it could be in terms of the pain and whatnot so i'm glad to hear he didn't crack his ribs glad to hear he did continue on because like i said i'm a big fan of post malone anyway i do enjoy his music even though some people think it's a culture vulture i actually got a lot of time for the dude um he generally stays out of trouble keeps his mind his business is into life performing doesn't sing with the backing track for the most part and yeah i and it seems like a pretty decent dude so i've got a lot of time for the guy so big up him and glad he isn't um nursing some cracked ribs